But I changed my mind. You, you have to go. This just is not going to work. Really? It's working for me. I mean it. All right. You know the thing about hotels, Katie? They have a very nasty habit of looking into their guests. So once they find out who I am... I can't go to jail, okay? If they know that, I, that you're here, I, I just can't. I can't go to jail. Hey, I have a baby. Calm, calm, calm down. I'll just tell them that... I forced you to let me stay. Oh, yeah, right. They're not going to believe that. Really? I mean, look at me. I'm a very dangerous-looking criminal. Margot will see right through that. I can't get arrested. I need to be here for my little boy because his father isn't. Oh, I thought, you know, that he was still around in spirit. I will not discuss Brad with you. Well, me with him, I hope. That's not funny. <sighs> Listen, I'm just trying to cheer you up. Well, that's not working either, so... Okay, then. Then let me know how I can help you. You can leave. Now. Why are you still here? Oh, um, I made some delicious coffee. You want some? What I want is for you to be gone. Oh, I can't leave. I won't call the cops. I won't tell them anything. They'll have no reason to come after you. The cops are always after me. That's not the reason I have to stay. What is? You. I'm fine. I don't think so. I don't really care what you think. Oh, come on. Will you not fight me on this? It's very easy. Just say, yes, Simon, I would like your help. You know what you can do to help? You can grab your coat, put it on, and say goodbye. Who is it? It's Jack. Go, go, go. go. In the room. In the room. It's, it's in the room. Okay. Now. I heard you were back. Yeah. You have gone a while. I know. I was hoping... You know, it doesn't really matter. How you doing? Fine. Well, you know. Yeah, of course. And the baby? He's great. I don't think he has any idea that his life wasn't supposed to be this way. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. That's not... Right. May I see him? Oh, uh, well, I, uh, he's sleeping. At least he was the last time I looked. No, it's fine. Uh, maybe some other time. You know what? Let me check. Come on. Thanks. in Brad's stuff. And no, Katie, it's not Brad's. It is. Bartley Symington, fine art, Pennsylvania. I don't know, maybe he was thinking of buying a painting. Who's Brad? Bradley, really? I don't know whose that is. It's Simon's. Katie, it's Simon's. Simon Fraser? He's here, isn't he? Are you crazy? Simon! Why, Why would Simon be here? Simon! Oh, it's okay, Katie. Hello, Jack. Guess I'm the last person you expected to find here. I really can't believe this. You actually came. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought I might be able to do some good. You thought? Right, he thought I had nothing to do with it. He just showed up here and he won't leave. I was just about to call Margo, right? Katie, now. relax. Katie, I'm not taking him in. Not if he agrees to do what he said he was going to. What are you talking about? He said he wanted to help you. I did. I did. I want to help. That's, you know, that's why I'm here. What the hell is going on here? With what? Janet told me you went to see Mike. I did. He's good, by the way. And then you show up out of nowhere. What the hell? You ran around tracking down my exes to see who would be the best replacement for Brad? No, no one could replace Brad. So what were you thinking? I... 
Listen, you were miserable and you were alone. You needed someone to talk to. That That's it. I knew it couldn't be me. No, and it can't be him either. It can't be anyone. Okay, come I on. know you feel guilty, but that is your problem. Don't try to fix it by fixing me. No, I'm not. You can't bring him back. No, I know that. And you can't make it up to me. I know that too. So, deal with your own problems. Don't use me to, as an excuse to just run away. Katie, okay, you're being a little hard on Jack, aren't you? He's just trying to help. There's nothing either of you can do to help me, okay? Jack, go solve your own problems, not mine. Katie, people care about you. Is it so bad letting them? I don't need a support group. Well, I'm not a group, am I? I'm just one individual. I'm not going anywhere. Even if I don't want you here, what's wrong with you? I think about you a lot, you know? Well, don't. Well, yeah, don't. Like, I can't help it. Last place on Earth, Katie, I want to be here is, is in Oakdale. But when Jack found me, told me what happened, I just thought maybe I could do something. Something, anything, anything at all. She doesn't need you, she's got me. I don't need you. Katie, please. Honey, you're grieving. You just had a baby and you need to take care of him. There is absolutely nothing wrong in admitting you need a little bit of help. Stop telling her what I've been telling her. Just let me help you. She said no. Now let's, let's get out, man. How did that happen? How do you think it happened? I don't know. All right, let's go, pal. Oh, damn it, could someone please tell me how the hell this works? Well, it must have been the wind. It wasn't a damn wind. No, I think it was a sign. You tell him it was a sign. A sign that it's windy. No, more than that. You know I'm here. You know it, okay? I'm getting through to you. There's a message. A message, a message. The message is, let Simon help. No, you smug. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't need your help, and neither does Jacob. He's gonna be hungry soon. I need to make a bottle. You want a hand? Oh, great. What's wrong? The stove, sometimes I won't light. Sometimes can just be a bad installation. How the hell would you know? Who put this in? Brad did it himself. That explains it. Something wrong with it? Hey, listen, he probably broke it himself so he could pull the whole I'm a great guy with tools routine. You got any tools? See? Yeah, right here. I'm a tools. Oh. All right. That's a pretty nice set. Do you know how to use it? Go to hell! Not my tools! Katie, please, not my tools! You think I'm crazy, don't you? Talking to a dead man. No, I don't think you're crazy, Katie. Grief is hard. You want to hold on to those you lost as tight as you can. You think that's all it is? He's wrong. Don't listen to him. I think it's very real to you. And that's okay. Just as long as you don't forget, Katie, that you're still alive and so is your son. Right, isn't She knows that. And you're not helping yourself or your baby. If you don't let go of what you've lost, then hold on to what you got. Who asked you? Will you tell this guy to get lost? He's not right, Katie. He's not right. Don, you want to do the honors? Fire up. Sure. Ah, oh, it works! Thank Great. you. Great. Great. There he is. Perfect timing. I'll lock this down, then we're all done. Okay. Maybe 
Simon was right. Maybe we should just focus on what we have. And not what we look at. You screwed up Katie's life a dozen times, and Dika, you waltz in here and start giving her advice and take my place? Katie is my wife, and Jacob is my son. I don't want you within a hundred miles of them. Do you hear me? If I don't get your butt out of here, I'm never gonna get through to Katie.